This picture is titled Thanksgiving Dinner for the Ranch. This piece was painted by Frederick Remington in 1888. The coolest thing about this picture is that it is hanging in a museum on a ranch in the middle of nowhere. It is right outside Bartersville, Oklahoma on Frank Phillips' personal ranch named Woolrock. Frank Phillips was the founder of Phillips 66 Petroleum. All of the paintings in his collection were either owned by him while he was alive, given to him while he was alive, or donated to his museum by his family after he passed away. There are only two Remingtons in the entire museum. Remington was an amazing painter of Western art and Midwest culture during the 19th and 20th centuries. The formal elements of this black and white piece are very pretty. All the strict concise lines around the horses and cowboys draw the viewer's focus immediately to them. Then the viewer's eyes drift back to the fuzzy lines of the horizon, which allows them to feel the emotions that the cowboys are experiencing of longing for their home. A home that is so far off in the distance, yet they can taste it. Another element that stands out in this picture is the use of color used by Remington. The intensity used in the dark gray sky that is up against the bright snow-covered mountain is so contrasting yet so calm. It makes the viewer feel that the weather they are, extre are experiencing is extremely cold. Yet, somehow, the cowboy is warmed up, maybe by the cigarette in his mouth. The work in the middle of the piece by the cowboy's heads are brighter than the rest of the picture drawing the viewer to this point as a visual center. The iconography of this piece is interesting as well. The moods of these cowboys are very somber, neither are smiling. This depicts the culture of the life for the Western community. The entire image shows the struggle of a cowboy and how hard times were back then, even on Thanksgiving. But that's just the life of a good old cowboy, right? Remington did not get much of his style from any artists around his time. However, he did get influenced slightly by da Vinci's style and the way da Vinci created his unmade horse. Even though da Vinci tried to capture the true movement of a horse in his drawing, Remington was the first artist to conquer the motion of a horse. These horses seem to be coming to an abrupt stop at an icy river ahead of them. Their legs are bent and showing the viewer that they are running and then stopping. I chose this piece because it is from my hometown. I grew up visiting Woolrock and seeing all the amazing things it had to offer. But I realized after moving away that hardly anyone has ever heard of the place. It truly is an amazing, beautiful place with amazing artwork. I picked this specific piece because of the aesthetic appeal it had to me. The black, white, and grays that Remington used to show the hardship of these cowboys and their horses was amazing. Even the hardship they had to endure on a holiday. It was simply beautiful. Just to give you an idea of um, who owned Wool Rock, this is Frank Phillips and he's standing outside of his log cabin, which is what we're in right now. Um, this is all out on the Wool Rock land. All right, thank you.